Five nominees from Collingwood, a tribute to their great year, three of those looking for their first All-Australian. A long-striding, dashing defender, Harry O'Brien's attacking style has been pivotal to the success of Collingwood in 2010. It's fantastic when the ball goes down there and as soon as he gets it, the crowd goes ballistic. And that's what we want from Harry. Every time he gets it, we just want him to run and, and take players on because he's so good at it. His trademark run and carry, combined with his trusty right boot, breaks lines, clears zones and gives his forwards lace-out service. This is O'Brien's maiden All-Australian award. And Harry O'Brien also with his first All-Australian. Congratulations, Harry. Yeah, thanks a lot. This is uh, certainly worthy, worthy of a bit of Twitter. You straight on to it? Or? <laughs> no, not yet, mate. I'll wait till the end of the function. What does it mean to you? Uh, oh, it's such a, it's a great honour and I'm so grateful for you know, the people around me, my teammates and the coaching staff and everyone along the journey from my family, so it's been fantastic. What about the politics over the last couple of weeks? Are you happy with the win, Harry? C couldn't really care, to be honest, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Harry O'Brien with his first All-Australian. Congratulations, Harry. Good on you. The definition of ball magnet... Collingwood midfielder Dane Swan has averaged 32 possessions per outing in 2010. The funny thing is he's the most rotated player in the comp. Um, he just works hard, he, he gets dagged every week and, and he just seems to, to find a way to, uh, to, uh, to get space and, and get the ball. The colourful magpie looks a certainty to win his third best and fairest and is the hot favourite for the Brownlow medal. He was a lock for his second All-Australian selection. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2010 All-Australian Rucks, Dane Swan, Gary Ablett and of course Aaron Sandlins who is uh, an apology for tonight. But first of all I might start with you Dane, congratulations, well done, an outstanding effort, the, uh, the Age Player of the Year, the Herald Sun Player of the Year, the MVP, All-Australian Finals, it's just uh, continues to go for you. Yeah, it's it's been a great right. year. Yeah, it's going alright mate. Um... Things are going well and uh, hopefully that all translates into a win Friday night. How do you feel about being the benchmark for the midfielders in the competition now? Um, oh, I think the bloke behind me is probably the, the benchmark for the midfielders, mate. But um, it's obviously very good to get recognised by, uh, by your peers last Monday and uh, by the, the ex so-called experts who um, pick the side. What do you fear about the Cats? Um, oh, I don't think we fear anyone, mate, but uh, we certainly have a lot of respect for them and uh, you know, really admire the way they, they play their footy. Is there a chance that you'll end up on each other, Gary, standing behind you on the weekend? I hope so. Um, depends what their coach wants to do, mate, but uh, yeah, I'm up for it. Well, congratulations to you and good luck this weekend. Gary, I might ask you to come forward and say... These are the half-forwards in the 2010 All-Australian team. On the half-forward flank, from Collingwood, Alan Didak. <laughs> At centre half-forward, from Hawthorne, Lance Franklin. And on the other half-forward flank, from Geelong, Paul Chapman. We have a in Playing more as a forward in 2010, Alan Didak's ability around goal is well documented. His soccer skills and ability to make something from nothing have helped add to his incredible highlight reel. Terrific dancer, yeah, got some um, freakish ability obviously and um, we want the ball in his hands as much as possible. It's not all about show for the Collingwood ace with plenty of substance to go with the style and tonight he is rewarded with his second All-Australian. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, your 2010 All-Australian half-forward line. Please put your hands together for Alan Didak, Buddy Franklin and Paul Chaplin. Give them a round of applause once again. A fantastic effort from our three half-forwards. Might start with you, Dibs, if you'd like to uh, step forward. Um, a second All-Australian, what, uh, what does it mean to you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a while, but uh, it's good to be back. Um, obviously, to get named in the, in the 22 amongst the best players, it's a, it's a great honour. What about going into a final series? Just about got your whole list available, basically. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, and we had the weekend off, which is good, so um, we're ready to go. Hey, uh, the goal last week from the boundary, uh, the similar pocket to where Buddy kicked his goal from, of course, uh, just uh, having a look at it here, you've given it a really good glance inside. It was almost as if to say to Mick, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking inside, Mick. There's nothing on. Can I please have a go from here? looked almost like you were begging Mick <laughs> to telepathically let you have a crack at that one. It's an unbelievable kick. What were you thinking? 
Yeah, it's good that uh, they've got the footage of it because um, usually the boys would uh, give it to me if I didn't pass it. So uh, I made sure I had a look and I was wrapped, no one was in there and had a ping. <laughs> it was fantastic, no one was in there. We, we checked the vision, there was definitely no one there. Do you feel more comfortable? We and most of us in the audience have been uh, taught to you know, run in straight lines and kick the ball straight. You seem more comfortable kicking around corners. Yeah, I suppose as, as a kid, that's all I, all I ever did. So, um, and that's the way I play. So I try and do it every week. Um, you know, growing up playing soccer and that, it's uh, always try to, um, you know, do the, the check side kicks and stuff. So I'll continue to do it, um, hopefully, you know, this weekend and, and for the rest of the career. Well done. Your second All-Australian. Buddy, might ask you to come forward. Another fantastic... One of the most balanced players in the league, Scott Pendlebury's ascension into the elite bracket of midfielders has been a telling factor in Collingwood's stellar 2010. His cool head under pressure and calculated decision making makes him one of the most creative players in the competition. This is Pendlebury's first All-Australian selection. And Scott Pendlebury, Scotty, first time. How does it feel, mate? Yeah, it feels, uh, feels really good, mate. Uh, an absolutely fantastic effort by yourself. You and Dane, you're going to go off and get waxed this week? Or you normally do that before the game? I was reading somewhere, or is that not you? No, it's definitely not me, mate. I, uh, no, I don't know where you got that from. Third prelim in four years, this will be? Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be my second. Um, I missed last year, and um, yeah, really looking forward to it. And it's, uh, it's, you know, it's going to be a big occasion, and all the boys are, are pretty excited. Well, congratulations to you. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, 